A word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 15. And it says, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brethren, him you shall hear. Amen. The Lord your God will raise up for you, a prophet like me, from your midst, from your brethren, him you shall hear. Amen. We know that um, there are many prophets in the Bible, but we know the greatest prophet of all is Jesus Christ. He was the living word. He shared it. He will return and we will hear his word. We will see him. He will raise us up. Praise the Lord for that. All right. Let's cover this in Deuteronomy 18, verses 15 and 19. And it says, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from the midst, from your brethren, him you shall hear. According to all you desire of the Lord your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let us not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, nor let me see this great fire any more, lest I die. And when the children of Israel heard the voice of the Lord and, and he spoke to them, they were afraid. They didn't, they, they said, let Moses talk to us because they were afraid to hear the voice of the Lord. But we will want to hear the voice of the Lord. We want Jesus to come. It says, and the Lord said to me, what they have spoken is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among your brethren and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak to them all that I commanded him. We know that when Jesus came, God put the words in his mouth. He was always talking about the father. He was always saying the words that I speak are not my own. This is how we're going to know the truth prophet from the false prophet, because they're going to speak the words of truth. And we know that they did not want to hear the words of Jesus. Some did and some didn't. It says, and it shall be that whoever will not hear my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him. You know, God is truly saying, you know, he is coming. And we have to discern now whose word is true and whose word is not. As we wait for him, because there will be many that come in his name, many that will claim to be him. And the only way we will know that it's not him is by the words that they speak and the actions that they do. In Mark 4, in Mark 6, verse 4, it says, But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. Now, Jesus was not accepted in his home. His people did not believe that he was the Son of God, that he was sent there to save them, to share the word, so it will be in the later days of our lives. Hopefully, when he comes, we will know that it's him and we will love him and we will hear him and we will do his voice, listen to his voice. Now I know God listens, speaks to each and every one of us. He, he guides us, he helps us. Today, he's showing us things. 
So we should not be afraid. We should just go with what the Lord wants us to do. And it works, all things work for good for those who love him. And Luke 24, 19 says, and he said to them, what things? So they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deeds and words before God and all the people. We've been hearing all last week about how Jesus was saying, I am the bread of life. I am the vine and you are the branches. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the good shepherd. These are the words that he's been showing us and telling us because definitely something is truly coming and we need to be ready for it. In Matthew 21, 11 says, so the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We know that you are the true prophet. We know that you, we hear your voice, just like the shepherd. You are the shepherd and we are the sheep. You are, we are known by you and we know your voice. Help us continue to know your voice. Help us continue to hear your word. Continue to bless us as we walk with you today and just give us your peace and comfort today in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.